Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing a foundation from CoverGirl and it's the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation and this is actually the old formula. I know the new formula came out pretty recently but I picked this one up because it was on like super super sale you guys. This actually retails for $9.99 so roughly $10 but I got it for like two dollars and fifty cents because they were coming out with the new formula at the time so I picked this one up and I thought I might as well just give it a try and do a review on it for you guys in case you guys are interested but I haven't tried the new formula yet so I don't know how it compares with it. So this is how the old foundation looks like. Now I think the ingredients are basically the same as the new True Blend CoverGirl foundation except I think this one is a little bit more heavier. I think they reformulated it to be more light to medium coverage. So today we're about to see how this baby works out and hopefully I'm crossing my fingers it works out well because I'm loving the 3-in-1 um, stay fabulous foundation as you guys know right now. I'm not wearing any foundation whatsoever I just did my brows and my eye makeup and I just put on some Moisturizer I didn't use any primer or anything because I want to see how this foundation holds up by itself The packaging looks exactly like the three-in-one foundation It has your standard one fluent ounce of product inside and the shade I got is in number four five five soft honey it has a pump which is very very convenient I like when foundations have pumps because it just makes my life so much easier so I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand the consistency seems very um, thick actually it's not liquidy at all you can see it's not moving around on my hand whatsoever so I'm gonna use my buffing brush by real techniques I'm gonna squirt a little bit of water on it to add some moisture and just buff this foundation into my face. To speed things up, I'm just gonna pump another pump onto my brush and just buff that right in. It looks a little bit light on me. I don't know if I picked the right shade, but maybe when it sets later, it'll oxidize and match my skin so it actually looks like it's blending in real nice i'm just gonna add another pump and do the left side of my face it seems like it's very blendable um it looks like it's covering up that redness around my nose area because i do tend to get red over there now i'm just going to take my finger and pump a little bit of the product and place that under my eye as if it were concealer since I'm not going to be using any other concealer for this review. I just wanted to see how this whole foundation holds up by itself without me setting it and without me using concealer at all. So you can really see if it creases or not. So this is how the foundation looks like. It looks pretty good. It pretty much evened out my skin tone. Um, I don't think it really covered up underneath my eye area I could still see that it's pretty dark down there but I didn't want to use any uh, concealer so yeah I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back so I'm back and I finished the rest of my face makeup and it looks like the foundation has finally settled in it's weird because earlier I thought the shade was too light for me but now I feel like it's too dark on me like my face looks darker than my neck and my chest area so I don't know what the heck's going on other than that uh, the foundation looks great um, it does look a little bit cakey but I think it is supposed to give you medium to full coverage so it looks good though uh, my redness around my nose is pretty much covered up by the foundation and uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. It evened out my skin tone really well. And right now, it's about 12.30 in the afternoon. I will wear this foundation throughout the day. I didn't use any setting powder or setting sprays because I really want to see how this foundation holds up and if it creases or oils up on me. And I will check back at the end of the night and let you guys know my final thoughts and opinions about this foundation.
Hi guys, so I'm back for my final update and review of the True Blend Foundation by CoverGirl and I've been wearing this for well over 8 hours. Currently it is 8.40 in the evening so it's basically the end of the day and let's see how this foundation held up. Oh wow! <laughs> It looks like I can fry an egg on my face right now. It's so oily. Oh my god, my forehead especially. Around my T-zone area, I am completely shiny. Um, I can see that around my nose area is a little bit red, but that's because I was blowing my nose earlier today. But, I mean, my skin tone is still pretty much even, which is good. I don't see any dry patches or anything like that and it hasn't really creased on me just the only problem is that it oiled up on me but I'm gonna put some powder over my face and see how that goes because that might just be the problem the powder because I didn't powder or touch up at all throughout the day I'm just gonna be using my MAC um, invisible powder just to kind of get rid of the shininess especially on my t-zone area because I do have oily combination skin if you set it with powder it makes a huge a huge huge uh, difference it looks it looks good um, my blush and my bronzer and my highlighter is still clearly visible so that's a plus and I'm actually pretty impressed it's not that bad Good job cover girl I knew you would come through so all in all I think this foundation is pretty good for drugstore and mind you this is the old formula so I'm not quite sure how the new formula um, works let me know if you guys have tried the new formula out and how you guys liked it and if you did try this let me know how you like this as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this uh, review helpful let me know what videos you guys want to see next and if you want to see any other drugstore reviews because I'm a big fan of drugstore products as you can tell and thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later bye